Yeah. I think. Oh. Oh. A funny hat. I need a funny hat for this. Something. Something like. Yeah. Something like. Like this. There's a front in it. Why? Because today is Tory Day. And today my vlog is for the kids. So gather around, it's going to be a very short story about me. Not me from Australia, no, me from Belgium. About me. I'm gonna tell you a story that happened 31 years ago when I was a little boy. I was seven years old and I was the smallest of a group of boys and girls in our town's scouts movement. One of the things I liked the most was going out camping and it was on one of these trips that this exciting story happened. So, one morning after breakfast we were wandering around in the neighborhood of our campsite and then suddenly it happened. There in front of us there was this big giant scary grizzly bear. Normally when you see a bear you have to be quiet and quietly go backwards. But of course all my friends panicked and they started running the other way, screaming and screaming and screaming. But I couldn't run because, you know, I wasn't feeling like running. Actually, the bear was standing right in front of me. Then suddenly the bear realized, hmm, that looks like a real meal. And as he was to attack me, I suddenly started shouting things at him. And I was calling him You probably hear a lot of peeps right now, but I was telling him ugly things. I was calling him ugly names. I was actually really not behaving, but I didn't care because I had something in front of me that actually scared the beep out of me and that was a lot bigger than me. And get, that probably could swallow me just in one swallow. Like, you know, uh, like Pinocchio and uh, like uh, Little Red Riding Hood. And the more I was shouting, the paler he got. And I was shouting and he got paler, paler and paler and paler. Until he looked like an ice bear and then I finished him off with calling him a sissy teddy bear his eyes began to dangle he took a last breath like he was finally going to eat me <gasps> drop dead gone finished in the papers next morning there was a story about me catching an ice bear which was wrong because I didn't call an ice bear no it was a grizzly that turned pale so pale that he looked like an ice bear I hope you like my story I hope there are no bears in your neighborhood, but when you see one, just do as your mom and dad and as your school teachers learned how you should behave. One should not always believe what the stories tell, although, is this a true story? Who knows? Bye.